I may circle back around, you never know. Well, I, I hope you get them as a pair. Yeah. I mean. Good morning, how are you? Doing wonderful, thank you. Them are practically brand new. Are they? They're beautiful. Hey, uh, they even got the, they still got the tents on the. Oh, yeah, on, so they do. Look, you <laughs> yep. see them. Yep. <laughs> wow. They're yeah. practically brand new. Oh, They've no. probably been rode about three times. But they're awesome. They're very cool. I want $100 for, for both, both of them. For both of them. them. Right. All right. Thank you. And, I appreciate uh, it. And this one got a flat tire. Uh -huh. And I bought new inner tubes and it comes two in a pack and oh. that, that goes with it. Well, thank you. That's awesome to know. Very cool. Thank you. They're, they're, they're great. Brand, <laughs> practically brand new. Yeah. <laughs> We just thought we were going to ride by. <laughs> I know that feeling. <laughs> yeah, he is like a whole set. He has, oh, yeah? Yeah, there's like a, a jumpsuit in there. We used to step in with hay. That's cool. Yes. And then we moved here and it scared off children. Oh, yeah. So, <laughs> I hear <laughs> you. <laughs> I couldn't believe Bob would run out the back door. <laughs> Take the blue bike if that's okay. The, oh, that's fine. Yeah, awesome. You said 50? Yes. How much is this jacket? How much do you this jacket? A dollar. A dollar? All right. Let's see if I got that. My hands are freezing. <laughs> Why don't you want the one with the back too? Huh? I don't know. I don't know if I will use it or not. Oh, no. I may circle back around. You never know. Well, I, I hope you get them as a pair. I yeah. Mean, I mean, were you up and right together? I mean, maybe, maybe. I might end up coming back around. <laughs> All right. Uh, oh. Back. 
So 20. Like I said, they're in excellent shape. 51. They sure are. Thank you very much. 51 right there. I'm going to give you a hanger back as well. Thank you yes, very much. I appreciate it. It is beautiful. I will do. I'll send him a picture. I'm going to go ask him now. <laughs> Hi, how are you all? How are you? Doing great, thank you. The sneakers. The, uh, the ones back there? Yeah. I think she said $3. Okay, cool. Thank you. Yeah, Thanks very much. They ended up being too small. Oh, yeah, I know that. <laughs> yes. And there's clothes here. Oh, cool. Thank you. Here. Awesome. Thank you very much. Hey, we should just uh, move some of this. I'll move the stuff down. Anything down the Thank you so much. No Have a great day. your shoes a dollar. okay awesome thank you and how about the clothes and stuff everything on the table is a dollar okay sorry <laughs> thank you <laughs>
you four more dollars <laughs> thank yeah, you so team. much thank you so what you said oh i'm sorry four, four. items yeah. yeah i'm sorry no no you're fine that's awesome thank you so oh, much you're welcome. you have a lovely day okay. all right you guys so this is where we are beginning the haul today um, yeah, so this is not something that I would usually buy because obviously it is a large item and this is obviously not going to be sold on eBay or Poshmark. Um, it's going to have to be a local flip, but it was just too good of a deal to pass up. Um, so as you can see, this is a Schwinn Legacy. Obviously, it's kind of like the retro vibe type bike. When I looked up, um, I want to say comms, but it's like retail value, I suppose. It was selling at Target and on Amazon for anywhere from $250 to $350. Um, and I bought this for $50 at a yard sale. And other than a few tiny scuffs here and there, there are just a couple of little ones. Um, there's really little to know where to this bike. It just basically needs to be dusted. You can even see on the tires that the treads have barely been used. Um, so this is just really in nice shape. So I went ahead and paid up the $50, um, but I will let you know how that goes as a local flip. I'm not super active on Facebook Marketplace. It's just not my thing. But for this, I'm willing to give it a go. So I will keep you updated with that. And then at that same yard sale, I also grabbed this item here. This was the only clothing item that I grabbed because I'm trying to be really, really sparing with clothing, but it was such a cool vintage piece. I absolutely could not leave this behind. So obviously it is a button up denim jacket. It is not like super fitted. It's very kind of baggy. It has the acid wash. It has the almost like dolman type sleeves. It has this cool sort of textured um, floral print in there. It just has so much cool stuff going. It will have to wait for the right buyer, but this is absolutely one that will be cross posted onto Etsy as well. And I just absolutely loved it and the brand is Rough Rider so this cost me a dollar okay and then other than the bike <laughs> the big purchase and um, this is the rest of what I got so one yard sale here there wasn't a whole lot to be found a lot of baby stuff but I did grab these and I kind of love them and they fit and I kind of want to keep them but I don't know that I will <laughs> anyway and um, so Nike uh, what are they Nike Air Max and they obviously have this kind of like gold almost bronze color I really like the bronze color um just sneakers really I paid three dollars for these and I grabbed them because I just thought they were super cool and they were a colorway that you don't see a lot of and the wear is like really minimal like even the whites and things I'll take a magic eraser to them they're in really good shape and I thought they were awesome okay and then this last yard sale I went twice technically uh, the first time I went I only picked up these shoes which were a dollar 
um, which I thought were cool. They are a Converse Woolrich collaboration. Um, sure, why not? And so these, they obviously need a wipe down and stuff, but these are like a sort of wool blanket upper. And of course they're high tops, which can do really well. And they are a smaller size for women's. They are a six and a half, but that will still sell. Um, and then they also have leather uppers as well. Just thought they were awesome. Haven't looked at the comps yet, but uh, I'll let you know how they do as well. And then the other item I got on that first trip round was just a pair of jean like overalls. I suppose you could say like bib overalls. They're not a fantastic brand by any means. They were only a dollar. Um, I'm not doing a whole lot of clothing, but I kind of went against my own advice here and I'll tell you for why. Um, so these are divided by H&M. So very sort of like low end. However, jean overalls especially the skinny fit with the raw hem they can just sell really fast and um, i'm not looking to get more than sort of 15 out of these like i said i paid a dollar but i do think that they will be a super quick flip okay and then i got back to my car and i thought about it for a second because i'd seen all of these items and i realized like i was just leaving money on the table <laughs> essentially so i went back I actually hadn't looked closely at these i don't know why i paid a dollar again and um, these are a women's they're better size i think yeah women's size nine converse high tops um yeah they're like look at them they barely look like they've been worn at all they're really kind of like crispy clean right now um and they're kind of cool they have this canvas upper but it's, it feels a little different i don't know how to describe it but yes so for a dollar can't go wrong especially with high tops and then I also grabbed these because they were a dollar a piece. And again, I'll tell you why. So they're all American Eagle. However, I have two here. One is a bit of a fail, I'm going to be honest, but two are not. So both of these are the same size. They're a women's size eight. So they're a decent size. They're both the tomboy fit. Um, they both have button flies, which is kind of cool. And they're both heavily distressed like i would go ahead and use the keyword destroyed for these jeans so what i'm going to do is lot them up together because they're basically you know they're they're made for being in a lot together and so i got two dollars into both pairs of those like all together and so hopefully i can sell them together for around 25 to 30. this item is a little bit of a fail only because i didn't look closely enough which you have to do with skinny jeans so american eagle size 12 and they are the high-rise jegging and they are sort of distressed or destroyed so they had everything going except for this puckering right here so i likely won't sell them with this kind of puckering just because that's a flaw and i'd have to disclose that so i'll probably go ahead and redonate these but without this going on these would have easily gone for around 15 to 18 anyway okay Thank you so much for watching this video. Again, if you like yard sales and garage sales and selling stuff online for a profit, then don't forget to hit subscribe and the bell notification so you can come back and hang out some more. As always, my Facebook group is linked down below. You're more than welcome to come and join, ask your questions and get to know other people in the reseller community, as well as my Teespring store that is always linked down below as well with reseller themed merchandise. All right, you guys, I will catch you in the next video. Bye.